I've been working on a project where I had two panels and uh, I wanted to make a single panel out of it and I wanted to hinge them but often when you hinge something this way it's not very strong um, and I wanted a lot of strength built into it so I decided to move the hinge down further do it this way. Instead of hinging like this, I put, move the hinge here and hinge it like that. That way it's very strong in one direction but it easily collapses in the other direction. And then uh, to hold it into place I would place a magnet here on the back piece uh, to attract the hinge itself. So it would be something like that. So. This is my little prototype thing here. Uh, put two hinges here and a uh, magnet here and the hinge extends down here so it attracted and held in place. Um, so very very strong in this direction because of the extra material here uh, but easily collapses in this direction. If you had some long panels uh, you're saving almost, when you collapse it, you're saving almost half the length of the panel uh, and very strong and if you wanted to you could uh, double the material here so that it would be a smoother surface across the top uh, for a single panel and so this is my magnetic offset hinge uh, that I'm going to use in some projects very smoothly. Also these magnets are very very strong. Uh, if you want a stronger hold you can put another magnet here on this hinge. <coughs> you could also put a magnet on this panel and so you've got a magnet to magnet attraction and these magnets are very strong and when they attract each other it's very hard to separate them and you probably even if you epoxy them into this panel it will pull them right out of the material. So you have to put something between the, the two magnets. It's just like that. They'll slide easily sideways, but if you try to pull them out, they'll pull the magnet out. But with two magnets, a magnet on a magnet, this would be very strong in both directions. This is my magnetic offset hinge, uh, multiple hinge, and uh, looks like a shingle on the roof. We just keep adding each new panel on top of each other and uh, works like the single one. That one locks into place, this one locks into place. And it's very strong in this direction but in this direction it collapses. The only problem with this panel is uh, it gets progressively bigger this way and uh, the problem with this particular hinge is when you collapse it, it doesn't fold up very nicely. It's the more hinges you have, the bigger mess it is. And I suppose if you had a lot of hinges, it could go around in a circle, but it's not very useful as far as saving a lot of space. But it deploys very quickly. It's kind of neat. Uh, here's another way to do a multiple hinge. Instead of placing the third hinge on the top, you could put it underneath and it would be like this. The problem is it's not strong in one direction. It's easily folded. Um, but with stronger magnets it would still be pretty strong. If you're hanging it, and it's really not, doesn't really matter that much. And uh, the advantage of this, this way of hinging the panels is that you could also place one here, make it smooth, and then place one here, make these panels thicker, and then just it would be smooth all the way across. And also folding, this is a, an accordion fan fold, 
So you could put as many hinges as you want and it would be pretty compact. Also, the way I mounted the hinge on this side is uh, hides the hinge so it looks a little prettier than this. But then you'll have to put the magnet on the outside uh, panel.